Every time I think about the Champions League, every time I see the trophy, every time I, I think Chelsea winning the Champions League, it is for this man here, Peter Cech. When you're standing in the tunnel, you kind of have the feeling, you know, your own tension, you are in your own zone and you're looking through. So basically what, I, what I've seen was a kind of like, a, you know, obviously way out. And then I had my captain in front of me for the day, which was Frank. And all I've seen was the bit of the pitch and obviously all the stand with the, with the people. We were told that that obviously, you know, there's same amount of uh, same amount of tickets for both teams. But I have to say that you know, standing behind here with my helmet, looking over his shoulder, I've seen that. <laughs> it didn't look to me like a kind of fair split of the of the tickets. This is where, you know. We realized it's going to be probably even tougher task than everybody was saying. It was a it was a feeling of okay, this is going to be a nice challenge, and against all the odds, we will we will try to make this. When you see the the box, I think it was Arjen Robben who came inside of the box. He cut in and he he had a he had a shot. I was leaning on, on the other side because I thought he would go far post. And then he, as he shot on the on, on, over here, I made a kind of like a funny save where I was leaning with my body there, my hand tried to cover, and I kind of stretched my leg like this, and the other one like that, which by now we all know I'm playing ice hockey. This is probably what the ice hockey goalie would do. <laughs> and it actually allowed me to, to make the save with my, with my hand and with my foot. I think that was the, the first memory of thinking, oh, that was close. Arjen Robben, and he's still going here, Robben. Good chance, good shot. And it's off the join of post and bar via Petr Cech's foot. DJ's goal. That was the goal which allowed us to, to go to the extra time. When I saw the, the ball coming in, I was sure that this is the moment which can actually open us the, the chance to, to win the game. So I put DJ in here with his hair. doesn't have it anymore, but uh, he used to still have that. I remember seeing Neuer going because his hand was very close to the ball. I initially thought that he might get there. For a second, I thought that the chance is the chance is gone. But obviously, he he got the he got a touch to it. Luckily, not enough that he could keep it out. Drogba! It's a goal of destiny from the man we knew would score. The moment before uh, uh, Arjen took the penalty shot in the extra time. Sometimes when you watch the movies where things kind of slow down and freeze, th this is actually almost happened in the same way. There is a stand, there is everything. That, that all became kind of blur. And it was the side where all the, all the Bayern people were, so it kind of became all red with, the, with not much to see. The ball became really big as I was concentrating on what he's going to do with that. And, and basically the rest stayed completely the blank. So my, my focus was clearly on that. I put me here like this. I put my hands out. It was me waiting like that. That experience of the moment which froze and actually that happened. The, the ball, everything disappeared. Uh, it was uh, it was something amazing to experience. Kept out by Czech! 
they won the trophy. The last memory before all the happiness happened was actually this, because as we all know, the goalkeeper stands on the side of the of the pitch for the penalty shootout. So you are standing and all you see is the goal like that. And I was standing obviously here on the side. I've seen the ball and I've seen Neuer diving this side. So you see you see the the head coming this way with the with the shoulders and, and hand kind of outstretched. And then at the back I could see the ball going in that far corner. That was the moment where you know you realize that the Champions League is won. And and I saw Didier running towards uh, towards me. So I just went I just went directly to to meet him. Where we you know it was the first 20, 30 seconds when we didn't really know what to do because the happiness of the accomplishment and, and uh, we, because we had been chasing the trophy for so long that you know that is quite a, it was a quite a unique uh, moment to, to experience and, and, and this was the last memory I've seen before we could celebrate. Didier Jogba with maybe his last kick of a ball for Chelsea Football Club. Buries it! Chelsea win the Champions League!